The Gugino family has been a central figure in the Circle of Mercy for over six decades. In 1953, Russell and Jenny Gugino, along with their infant daughter Mary Jo, moved to Rochester after his graduation from dental school. Having no family in the area, they relied on new acquaintances, including Kathy and sister Barbara Guarino, relatives of friends, and those in Russ's professional circle to help them pave the way for their future. In 1965, the journey to Mercy began when Mary Jo entered OLM. For 45 consecutive years, Russ and Jenny's five daughters and four granddaughters have called Mercy home. We vowed that our children would come, our girls would come to Mercy High School. The impact of Our Lady of Mercy began then and has continued up until today. I love Mercy. I live Mercy. Mercy's my home. The couple supported the growth of the school, participating in fundraisers, sports, May Day, parents' clubs, theater, and musical performances, anything that was needed. A wise woman, when we moved here, said to me, get involved, get involved as much as you can. And I did. So I would tell the teachers, if you need me, call me. The Gugino family has been extremely active on behalf of OLM, even after their youngest daughter graduated in the 1980s. In the early 1990s, sisters Edith and Faith Francione invited Jenny and members of her family to participate in the weekly Medjugorje Rosary Prayer Group and also to become Associates of Mercy. Having become an Associate of Mercy was far and above anything I could possibly want. It embodied my faith. It embodied my love for God and for the sisters. Fifteen years ago, Mary Jo started Angels of Mercy, a nonprofit organization dedicated to helping women discover their purpose for life and to help survivors of domestic violence and human trafficking. Over 11 years ago, granddaughter Victoria Vizana started an Angels of Mercy club called Dress a Girl, which continues today and affords Mercy students the opportunity to volunteer and contribute to the Angels of Mercy mission. Daughter Dina Vizana has volunteered for over 25 years as a member of Mercy's Alumni Board and, since 2018, has served as a member of the Mercy Board of Trustees, lending her valuable insight to the school's vision. Eleven years ago, when Marisa Lynn Gugino left the family far too soon, there was no question in their moment of grief what organization the Guginos would direct family and friends to support. Of course, it was Mercy, their second home and family. The Circle of Mercy has been, and will always be, with them to show love, faith, and support. Mercy has given me and my family more than what we ever expected from any school. It's not just about learning, it's about feeling. Mercy has feelings. A scholarship was established in Maurice's memory. When Russ passed, his name was added. To date, 11 students have been awarded the Marisa Lynn and Dr. Russell C. Gugino Scholarship. I have no doubt that each and every one of my children, after I'm no longer here, will then continue that as the Gugino Family Scholarship because it's going to live on. To this day, when the family walks the halls of mercy, a feeling of peace and being at home comes over them. They are grateful and find comfort in knowing they had a hand in helping Mercy thrive in so many ways. Our thanks to the Gugino family for their steadfast involvement and for championing Mercy and our mission. To them, we present the Sister Mary Francesca Award for service to the Mercy community.